The new batsman is O'Neill, and he scores off the first ball from Valentine. There's sensation when Valentine's next ball brings a confident appeal for leg before, but Simpson is given the benefit of the doubt. It's tense cricket again as the West Indians have regained the initiative. Another change, Sonny Ramadan comes on, and what a good over it is. Simpson was out, bowled Ramadan for 92 in the final minutes, and it's O'Neill and Fabble who come out to open the batting at the start of the third day. Australia is still 257 runs behind, with the score at 3 for 196. Fabble opens the scoring with an uppish single off Valentine, and the score is one closer to the new ball, which can be taken in three runs' time. With the score at 198, the match is reaching a crucial stage. Valentine is given another spell, and Fabble, in his eagerness to score, loses his wicket off the next ball by Valentine. It's a close run-out decision, and Fabble waits for the umpire to confirm his dismissal. It was touch and go, and Fabble was a little unlucky to be run out after a fine innings of 45. Australia has now lost four wickets for 278, with O'Neill on 62. The new batsman is Mackay. With Ramadan bowling, O'Neill starts to attack. This burst of scoring is the best Australian batting of the innings. Things are starting to brighten up, and O'Neill's burst of power hitting has split the seam of the ball. This causes a hold-up in play. After examination,